All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. I brought you in this house so that you will make my house a home to sit here and be a housewife. You never told me I would be a full-time housewife. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't think I had to tell you this. I never thought that you would have wanted to work in the first place. You don't even have a degree. That's why I'm not looking for an office job. I, I just want to start my own business. I want to do something. So that you'll be out there, right? Hmm? Out there, showing yourself. What does that even mean? Wake up! Sydney. It is 8 in the morning, and you're still in bed sleeping. Where do you want me to be now, eh? And you're saying that to me? Everyone is up and ready for work, and my dear husband is still sleeping, like it's a Saturday. You know that I lost my job, you know it. Ah, you lost your job, and you're not going to get another job, right? Huh? Look, I've applied for some job. When they call me for interviews, I'll be there. Jidena, uh, you know what? It doesn't even make any sense. I wake up in the morning, I get dressed for work, and my dear husband is in bed snoring! I don't snore! Hey, good morning. Can you at least say good morning? You know, it doesn't hurt if you say good morning, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Are you forbidden to talk? Hey, I... hey man, good morning. What's going on? What were you saying to my wife? Nothing much. Nothing I, I... much? You shouldn't be saying a word to my wife. Relax, man. Don't tell me to relax. Don't tell me to relax. That's my wife. Look, I, I, I was just trying to greet her. That's all. Don't I... greet my wife. Don't greet her. Fine. What is going on here? I don't know. I, I... Tell whoever this is to, to stay away from my wife. I don't know if he's a boy or whatever he is. Stay away from my wife. Mind your business, mind yourself. Watch your phone, my friend. No one should know about this. No one. Okay. Only you and I. Okay. I love my wife. I feel really bad that I'm cheating on her. I don't think we should do this anymore. Yeah. I agree with you. We shouldn't. Alright guys, so let's talk about this one, double seduction. I'm not sure I know the right place to start with this, but let's start from the beginning. Before you actually get married to somebody, it's always a good idea to date. Now, I know there's a lot of traditions and cultures that forbid it. You know, even Christianity as it is kind of turns a funny eye on it. But I'm not talking about whether there's, you know, intimacy involved or not. The main reason for dating is so you really get to understand who you are going to be marrying, if it's ever going to get to marriage. This is very important because if you really think about it, you know, everybody comes from a different background and everybody has a different aspiration in life. As much as you are busy with the whole notion of you guys are going to be together and in love, there are still other intricate parts of personal growth that will still get intertwined when it comes to marrying that person. So something as small as whether you would be a housewife or whether you should actually work, you know, it's something that should be discussed. And the reason why this is important, besides the fact that, you know, we are now in the modern age where there's all this social media attention and people are now, you know, striving to get things that they may have otherwise not even known about. Uh, it's kind of forced a lot of people to make double income in the family. You know, and in situations where there's no need for the double income, it might mean that the man is making enough money, but it might also mean that you guys are going to have to live within his income because that's what it boils down to. When he's making money or when he's the only provider, then everybody has to stay within his income bracket, which allows him to not go bankrupt just because he has a family in this particular movie you guys can see that there's some kind of miscommunication she did not expect that 
she would be a thorough housewife. And on the other hand side, uh, he thought because she wasn't educated, she didn't go to school, uh, that, you know, essentially she understands that being a housewife would be the ultimate goal. Definitely, this is something that could have been thrashed out if you guys, if they had a talk about this before. And there's a lot of things to talk about. You know, I'm not going to go ahead and start addressing them one by one here. But there's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to, you know, making somebody a lifetime partner. And, you know, you guys should be in sync on most of those because some of them are really deal breakers that should be factored in and, you know, a clear understanding should be made. And, you know, some are like, whatever, you know, if it's like this or like that, who cares, right? You know, now at the same time, you saw another marriage where they were, you know, uh, you know two guys walking until he lost his job. And there came the, uh, the lady now becoming the total breadwinner and how that kind of turned out. So I'm not going to discuss the whole infidelity issue here. Maybe I should, uh, but yeah. For guys, when a lady actually tells you that they're married, you know, I say, guy, you shouldn't really start pursuing them. You know, you know, guys have this twisted mind that it doesn't matter. But the truth is that when somebody is somebody's wife, you know, it's always good to just leave that. You know, there's a lot of ladies out there that are single, unhitched, uh, you know, ready to mingle uh, that guys should have at their disposal, you know. Talking to married women definitely is not a good thing to do uh, and vice versa, the same way uh, the other way around, you know, but, you know, in this case, as you can see, she was frustrated that her husband lost his job. And of course, her eyes started going outside. In the other case, she was upset that she made him to be a housewife and, you know, one thing led to another. There she was on the bed. You know, and uh, that's a horrible thing to experience. You can already see that the guy, uh, Eddie, in this case, was already, you know, nervous about his wife talking to other people. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't have seen it in a hundred years coming that he would get past the talking and now get to the sleeping. But all these things are things that shouldn't occur, you know. Uh, guys, don't go close to people's wife because... You know, one thing leads to another. Also, ladies, you know, there's this thing about a lady cheating. And I know, you know, we tend to say, yeah, a lady cheats, a man cheats, you know, what's the difference? You know, there's a difference. Maybe this is a topic for another discussion, but I'm just going to shed a little light in here. For a man to cheat, a man actually pursues the woman. So you make all these you know, moves, you know, and, you know, you hope one clicks and she gets to like you and, you know, this leads to another, all this talk and, you know, you give her reasons to, you know, come close to you and all that stuff. And there's a lot of luring that's involved before it even gets to um, now them being a thing you know, with the guy and the married woman. So before you go through all this rigmaroles, Many ladies would definitely kick against it. So, you know, a married woman definitely, by the time you are doing all this bulala, toasting and, you know, chiking and all this stuff, you know, a, a married woman would decode this and she would move on, you know, because, you know, women really love with their hearts. I'm not talking about the ones that, you know, wrong girls that really, you know, see it as business. Um, you know, it's their business, so I don't even want to talk about that now. Uh, I'm talking about the respectable ones that, you know, understand the integrity of being a woman. Now, uh, this is the case when it's a guy toasting a girl. Now, when a girl cheats out of her evolution, it's a lot easier because she doesn't have to toast it 90% of the time whatever man that she likes or walks up to is gonna agree to sleep with her you know and that's because she's the one with the with the eyes and for a lady to do that you know it's a lot of factors but the biggest factor of it is that she doesn't have that love and respect anymore for her own husband you know and the other way around you could also argue the same thing but the guy actually has to work for it 
as opposed to the lady that just brings it to the table and gives it up. There's that disparity and there's that whole thing about, you know, a lady doing it with her heart because she loves it. It's not just random. And yes, people argue different ways. So, you know, I'll leave you to your decision on what's what and who's who and, you know, which one is worse than which, if there's even any that's worse. Uh, and, you know, let's just go back to the whole topic of understanding that once there's infidelity involved, especially physical one, it's hard to fix. It's hard to fix, you know, either way, it's hard to fix. Bottom line here is before you actually get married to somebody, you know, put out the time to date and understand if that's a relationship that would work. You know, in the process of dating, it's easy to find out that somebody is toxic. It's easy to find out that somebody is a narcissist. It's easy to find out that somebody is, you know, unstable, unstable on different levels. Maybe their past relationship, maybe, maybe their upbringing, maybe how they were treated, maybe how he grew up, you know, either way. But you get to find this out when you're still in the dating stage and you get to walk away. When you see it and choose to stay, you know, that's your own cup of tea, but at least you knew about it, you know, and uh, that's something that definitely every couple should, you know, consider, you know, while they're still in their dating stage. So make sure you get to know this person and understand them. And if you see anything that you don't like, please understand that that thing is not going to go away unless they choose to take it away. You know, when somebody loves you enough, in most cases, they are going to, if there's one or two little things that they're not doing right, they, they, you know, they can actually let go of it themselves. Not because you told them to. <laughs> you, you can't talk a grown person out of stopping something that they've been doing for a long time. But if they choose to stop it because of you, then definitely you would even see that choice they made while you are still dating. Communication, communication, communication at every stage, especially at that beginning stage. Don't lie about things at that beginning stage. You know, keep it open, keep it real. Let the person love you for you. And in that way, you don't have to really, you know, do hide and seek when you guys you know move up to the next level so that's it for this one guys if you love this kind of content please like share subscribe follow you know this is cj from McNary studios and as always i'm here to deliver sense